Happy birthday to you. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> hey guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. What's up, my boo high squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, welcome to another vlog here at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse, the home of RJ over there and I and our team. There's Ate Elsie um, here in the Philippines. Um, and guys, it's a special day today. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, <laughs> Happy birthday Tita! Happy birthday, Tita! Yay! You're welcome. Oh. Guys, we're feeding the goats banana leaves. Eilish loves them. <laughs> this one is uh, female. Female, yeah. So she will have a baby. Oh, yeah. Male is he, he's male. Has more fur. Yeah, it's a different breed. Guys, look at what just arrived from Mama Nors, the best Biko Latik in town. This is my new favorite. New favorite Filipino food? Yeah. No, pancit and their oh. rice cakes. <gasps> the Biko bowls. Oh, guys, look at it. And we actually met them. They came here to personally drop off their food. Uh, when was that? Like a couple weeks back. On my birthday. Oh, on your birthday. Yeah, that's right. Yum. Kalamansi, even dessert. <gasps> this is one. This one is ginata ang uh, monggo. Awesome. Yeah, this is great for birthdays. And obviously, it's my tita and Karna's birthday, so we're doing it up special, guys. Oh my gosh. Mmm, pancit, a bunch of Filipino desserts. Look at that. I bought Jollibee chicken. Jollibee. Oh man, <laughs> smells so good. More pancit. Ah, oh, it's all so so good. Delicious, yeah. Long life. Long life. That's oh yeah, <laughs> it's a Filipino tradition to eat long noodles life. on birthday to represent long life. Mm. Guys, look at what came. Celtic salt. This is the healthiest salt. It's got tons of like minerals. I've been waiting for it forever. And guys, look at it. See, it's kind of grayish in color. And it's also kind of like moist. It's like, it's like wet. You know what I mean? Isn't that cool? Mm. And guys, I can't get enough. I love doing this. Mm. <laughs> wow. Salty. I need some water with that. Mm, so good. <sighs> Electrolytes. OMG guys, look at the food. Yum. We didn't order a lot because it's Holy Week. Um, for Christians and we're supposed to not eat in a overabundance um, as per request by my Tita and Karna. So just got a few things here. Um, us, Tita and Karna, our staff, we're all gonna eat this. Guys, this is peanut bed. It's like a vegetable stew. Calderetta, which is a beef stew. Uh, tomato based. This is a crispy pata which is a pork knuckle, fried chicken, and sweet potato, mm. and Filipino sour soup, uh, milk fish. The birthday girl. <laughs> She's 87. Yeah, happy 87th birthday. You would never know. Wow. <laughs> the lunch too was uh, sumptuous. Yeah, <laughs> sumptuous. Now we have crispy pata. Look at the setting. Oh my god, this is class. Yeah, <laughs> class, RJ. Class. It's RJ. Wow. All right, let's eat. Our other staff have day off today, so they can't join us. Mmm, guys, look. Sinigang. Black rice from Isabella. Yummy and healthy. Let's try the sinigang. Filipino sour soup. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow, sinigang is so good. Mm. It's so sour. Mm. Uh, stuff is here. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Are they Michael and the Mabuhai squad staff? Staff is here. The team, Thank I call them you. the team. Calderera guys, beef stew. Mm. Oh my gosh, the achara guys. Pickled um, papaya. Mm. Try the peanut bit. 
See that squash? Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, this food and the food we had earlier, the pancit, five Mambuhai stars. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Look behind you. Happy birthday, dear Tita. Happy birthday to you. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> blow? Yeah, blow. Oh. Yay. Yeah. Thank you. Surprise, surprise. Guys. I'm overexposed. <laughs> Archie's like, I'm overexposed. Archie doesn't like being in the vlogs. <laughs> Don't be shy, babe. So guys, we are here in the Joseph room. Um, one of our guest bedrooms and guess what? We're gonna sleep here tonight <gasps> This is our very first time in the two years that we've lived here that we're gonna be sleeping here and guys this bed is so comfortable It is super duper comfortable By the way, if you're new to the vlogs this here we call the Joseph room. It's inspired by my brother Joseph Let me draw these blinds. It's got a really nice view of the yard, too um, But we're gonna be staying here because they're doing some touch-ups on the wall of our master bedroom. So while they do that, like while paint is drying and stuff, we're gonna sleep here tonight. Yay, I'm so excited. Guys, this Joseph room, honestly, it's a man-child room. That was our concept. Look, all the nostalgia. See, Ghostbusters, Ninja Turtles, Gargoyles. All of you who kids who grew up in the 90s, this is like, this is our childhood, guys. Lion, Thundercats, that's Lion-O. Real Ghostbusters, see? Um, I'm surprised we don't have X-Men here. We've got a lot of DC, you see? We need more X-Men up in here. Like, I grew up on X-Men. Tons of DC toys. Like literally, just so much. Toy collection, unopened. There's Pikachu down there. Yeah, just a lot of like, 90s kids references see up here we got gizmo from gremlins and now we get to see what it's like to sleep in the joseph room love this bed it we spent a lot on this bed we wanted our guests to be super comfortable and so ooh, this bed is so like comfy also what's cool about this guest bedroom is it's one of the two guest bedrooms that has its own bathroom. So see, here's the bathroom. See, It's actually a Japanese onsen inspired bathroom, but like futuristic, like look at this. It looks like a lightsaber. Cause my brother was into all of that, like comics, um, main, like, you know, pop culture, all the geek stuff, gaming. We saw this and we're like, hey, looks like a lightsaber. Let's get it. It's got a bathtub. I was in the bathtub earlier today. I love this bathroom. It's really cute. See, you can even have it like that. Moody lighting. And our dogs get to experience the Joseph room too for the first time. Oh, and of course, can't forget Ant-Man. There's Marvel. Um, got lots of Funko Pops. See, more Marvel. Funko Pops. Well, there's DC. <laughs> Good morning, Mabuhai Squad. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Oh my gosh. It's a beautiful morning. Oh my gosh, I slept so well here. Just woke up, as you can see. OMG, and I'm late for the gym. I'm supposed to be there. Totally slept in. Guys, sleeping here is so comfortable. It's almost more comfortable than sleeping in our master bedroom. Um, because these blinds completely make it dark here. So it's completely dark. Whereas in our master bedroom, we have that big, you know that big circular window in the middle? Um, so like moonlight comes through and like, I don't know if it's street lights or, but anyway, light comes through. Um, and so me, I need it like dark. Usually I'll like 
put a pillow over my face or something to, you know, keep it dark. But man, slept so good here. <gasps> oh, it was so good. And then also, it's quieter here because in our master bedroom, the air conditioning units are huge because the space is bigger. So we need larger air conditioning units. But here it's just that. So it's quieter too. Saish, did you sleep well? Huh? Yes. Cypher loved sleeping here. It's comfortable, right? Sahara slept downstairs with my tita. But I hear someone. Who is it? Sahara? Okay, she was here. She was like, let me in. Ooh, and I love emerging to these birds. See, look at them. There's the canary, goldian finch, owl finch. Hi guys. And birds are up there, flying back and forth. Guys, just got back from the gym. And Tita and Karna is doing gardening. Hi Tita, what are you? You know what? Oh, you see, because of the fish might be weed. Weeds? Yeah, that's a weed. Yeah, see? It's so invasive. It's like a vining... Uh, this one is weed. It's called morning glory, it's called, no, or something like that. No, this one is weed. Yeah. See? You have to remove it. That's weed. Guys, I'm here in the iguana pen. And <laughs> Magnus is excited because he sees that I got bananas, his favorite snack. There is Eve. There's Adam way up there. Hi. Are you going to climb my leg? No, no, no. Here, wait, wait, let me, let me peel it first. I mean, look at him standing on two legs. Do you guys know iguanas can be bipedal? Okay, wait, here. Gosh, it's his favorite. And here comes Eve. Here you go. Mmm. Oh, it looks like she has a scar on her head. Where did that come from? Oh, don't push her away. See that? I wonder where she got that scar. I mean, it's dried now, it's healing. I have to like look around, guys, because I think rats, I saw a rat for the very first time, not on our property, but on a neighboring lot, climbing the bamboo. And I think and highly suspect that rats have begun to like break into the setups. This entire enclosure here is secure. I don't think rats can come in, but I have to double check to see where oh my gosh guys the iguanas are going nuts over this banana okay here there go oops there they come <laughs> here they come now they love the banana that one isn't even open i've got another one i brought two guys so like chill so this here the one with the scar on her head is um, Eve, the female, and then these two are the males, Magnus and Adam. Okay, this is peeling. I don't think you like peel. No, see? They're very picky. Right here. Here. Go. Okay, let me open another one because they're going nuts right now over this banana. Here. Here, 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 here. Oh, she's eating the peel. Although they do eat peel too. Here you go. This scar could also be from the males rough, roughing her up a little bit during mating. Mmm, yummy. Guys, iguanas are my dream. By the way, we've adopted all three of these. Magnus, who is a blue iguana, my dream iguana since I was a kid, was given to us by Filipino actor Enrique Hill. Um, and then these other two iguanas are from our zookeeper friend, uh, Mario, who just has so many and he needed homes for them. So we're like, yes, we'll take them. Here you go. One more or are you done? Adam here is still trying to work on this piece. Here you go, Eve. Go, go, go. No? You done? Okay, see? When the iguanas are done, they head back. So cool, guys. These things are literal dinosaurs. Now, if you look at Magnus, see his eye? I think he might have had an injury when he was young. Not sure. I have to ask Enrique about that. But he came to us like that. It doesn't affect him in any way. He can still see. 
through that eye, but interesting to see. Want a bit more? By the way guys, look. We got two roosters. They were also given to us as a gift. There's one of them. Here, finish this whole thing. This is for you, Magnus. Go. No? No, he's done. So Eve here, the female, she's definitely laid her eggs. She used to be so fat. She was definitely gravid, but then she laid her eggs. Like she's thinner now. Where she laid her eggs, that's the question. We don't know. Um, she's been digging around in the pot, in these pots, <coughs> these planters here, and also in this big thing of dirt here. So we'll just have to see. Once little iguanas start walking around, we'll know where she will be able to find out where they came out of. Um, these pots here are what secure the branches. Even without them, the branches were very secure. But we've decided to get these pots, which you guys saw, and we recently filled them with stones. So this was my, my vision to secure all the large branches, see? And it looks sleek, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna take these banana peels. I'm giving them to the goats. Yoo-hoo, Billy, and Eilish, here, banana. We give all our fruit peelings to the goats. They love them. This is Eilish here. Hi, Eilish. I love the sounds of them crunching on food. Go, go, go. Mmm. So we've begun to plant in the plant beds. See here, this is alugbati, which is a local vegetable. Um, it's part of the nightshade family. I'm not sure what its English name is, but RJ says it's a climbing plant. So we have a structure here for it and it will start to climb. And in fact, it already is. Yay. And look at the color of it, guys. It's like a deep purple. Oh, so for sure, this is so healthy, these greens. They're these little berry things. So cool. And then here we have, um, uh, sweet potato leaves. It's dead now. It seems dead, but the sweet potatoes are actually gonna grow under the ground. It's just establishing now. What we've done is we've cut the sprouting part of the sweet potato and they just stuck it in the ground and it'll establish. Um, I also asked RJ for us to plant lots of sweet potato as a ground cover um, here on this part of our property. I wanted to just cover the ground and remember when we first moved here guys it was my breakfast like at the LC would just go in the yard cut some sweet potato leaves and we would like boil it or steam it and it's such a healthy breakfast and it's free like it just grows on the ground so and covers the ground um, so I'm gonna try to do that here in our food forest you guys saw our last vlog oh and guys you won't believe what we're building here. I'm gonna keep it a secret for now, but just know we're building something here. It's gonna be epic. So guys, all day today, um, the workers have been chopping down parts of the tree. We've been fellowing, fellowing, <laughs> sorry. We've been felling a lot of the acacia. See, look, look at how clear that is. Um, but this tree still has foliage. It can still survive. That's a lot of tree that was cut out, though. Um, I mean, I hope it doesn't die. RJ doesn't think so. Uh, but yeah, so been felling the tree. It's actually good for trees to remove some of the branches. We're doing it because... Oh, he's even doing it there. On that tree, way down there. Um, we're doing it because, well, one, it makes maintenance easier. Two, it's actually good for the tree. And three, um, they're saying that this year, because of El Nina, we're supposed to receive an extra amount of storms and typhoons. Um, and typhoon season isn't for another few months, but we're gonna be ahead of the curve. We're gonna remove some branches so that, you know, it just decreases the chance of fallen, big fallen branches and causing damage. So guys, you won't believe it, but there is a nest that 
we discovered was here in this plant and inside the nest is an egg watch wait we don't know whose egg it is the birds should not be breeding wait see if we can see it there's some poop where'd the egg go there see it whose egg is that see see that egg omg they were building a nest here like we didn't put this here they had dragged all of this cocoa fiber from around the aviary and created a nest here and someone laid an egg but here's the thing they're not supposed to be breeding in here remember we have a gaviary it's an all-male aviary except there are a couple female <clears throat> females in here and the only reason we allowed a few females in here was because we were advised that the females of those species will not breed with the male in a community aviary in other words some species of birds require privacy in order to mate so there obviously has been mating going on <laughs> um yeah like i guess the birds didn't care they're like oh well one of the pairs is canary this white one and that canary that's a male and that's a female probably we know for sure this is a male we weren't sure what this one was but i guess now we know it's a female so i'm thinking they're the ones that built that nest i don't remember what other species we had that had a pair um but that's crazy so i don't know like it doesn't look like any of the birds are sitting on it though it might be an abandoned nest and what's interesting is some of the birds are pairing up even though they're males and they're different species <laughs> see like these two different species both male Ooh, guys i'm so excited about this you see this this here is my variegated um well i initially thought it was a monstera hi sahara thought it was a monstera but you guys pointed out it's actually a type of philodendron um and it's a huge plant that's planted way down there and it's stretched all the way here it's gonna climb guys see look it's constantly sending out new beautiful leaves it's gonna hopefully climb up this pillar all the way to the top i hope i hope i hope it's such a beautiful plant and i've given it lots of bunny poo rabbit poo so it can have the you know nutrients to grow and get big another plant that is really thriving is this our fiddle leaf fig guys is doing so well look at it new leaves another set of leaves this is its second set of leaves since we bought it so it's just constantly growing here i'll open see it it's doing so well in this in this area here it gets some really good sun i love it so much we're also giving it lots of rabbit poo so it can just grow into a huge tree i would love for this fiddly fig to grow up big 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 all the way to the top that would be awesome that's my dream i don't know if it will though we'll see i love watching the birds on the vines it's so cool to see see that goldian finch <laughs> so cute the birds love swinging on this vine all right guys another sunset i am sitting right here by these stairs by the pool because i just remembered that you know when we were first moving in here and like we were developing this side of the property pool wasn't completely done yet um this deck was still just like a bunch of dust and like concrete and hollow blocks i remember saying to myself and to rj i'm gonna sit here and enjoy the view at sunset and two years later here i am just hanging out enjoying the view being one with nature the sun hits the bamboo foliage and that forest in such a beautiful way it kind of looks orangish like fall but it's not it's just the the light hitting the leaves and it all looks so pretty it's let's go down come with me be one with nature with me isn't that pretty it's such a beautiful sunset i love just sitting here 
in the silence. Look at, look at the, this needs some major trimming too. Our bougainvillea, guys. I'm gonna step up here. Look, it's really blooming now. Look at that, look at how gorgeous these flowers are. So beautiful. I love bougainvillea. It grows really well here in the Philippines. But it's seasonal, so like for half of the year, it's just the green. And then through this part of the year, it's uh, it's so colorful. Let's see, let's, let's have a look at it from the side here. Let's walk down these stairs. Ooh, I love this side, by the way. Can't wait for this to all be developed, covered in greenery. I'm telling you, we're gonna plant sweet potato through here. See, isn't that so nice, this bougainvillea? It's really, really blooming now. And this is just the start of it. It will really be all colors by like the end of the summer. So pretty. I love nature. Guys, look. What RJ cooked um, mushrooms, soy cabbage, sauce, like and soy sauce? Uh, scallops. Oh, and he used coconut this. Aminos. Coconut Ooh. organic. We don't have like that. Can you ask Chris to bring home? Okay. <laughs> like that. It's apparently, we don't have that. yeah, it's made from coconut sap, yeah, coconut tree sap, and it's an alternative to soy sauce. Mahi mahi fish, and RJ seasoned it with Celtic sea salt. Let's try it. Let's try. I taste the magnesium now. We don't have that. This mahi mahi and the cabbage and the mushrooms and scallops, five mabuhay stars. Guys, I'm in the aviary and it is such a beautiful day. See? But look at how the, the bird's colors pop in the sunlight. Watch. See, look at that Goldian Finch. Ah, guys, I'm trying to show people how beautiful you guys are in the sun. Look at that. Look at that beautiful Goldian Finch up there. Gorgeous. Look at that one. Beautiful. Adonis, is that you? Guys, the birds are making nests in some of the coolest places. Look at that. That's totally a nest. Is there an egg in there? Look at the fish in the pond. So placid. This pond is so relaxing to look at. Like, look at the water. See? Beautiful. All so beautiful and relaxing. Mm, guys, lunch by the pool. Beautiful, gorgeous day. I just came back from swimming and sauna. And ah, time for lunch. After swimming, I always get so hungry. How about you guys? Don't you find that swimming makes you hungry after? Mmm, but look at this. So this is scallop, kangkong, which is water spinach, black rice, um, and squash, and garlic too. RJ cooked it. He's so good. Alright guys, let's try this. Mmm, oh my gosh. Scallops and black rice. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, the flavors. Mm. Mm. Guys, the scallops and Hong Kong and squash. Five Mabuhay stars. Mabuhay squad, I have to show you the sky. Look up there. Do you guys see it? It's like a rainbow, but. Not really a rainbow, it's just like the like parts of the sky and the edges of the clouds are rainbow. Isn't that crazy? What is causing that? I had to grab you guys. Oh, wow. I have never seen that before. See? Here on the roof deck, um, the sky is really interesting right now. Like look at, look at that huge cloud. And look at that ominous looking cloud over the sunset. And then over here, there's like a big black shape over here. Wait, hard to see it, but uh, it the sky is really interesting right now. That was cool. 
super duper cool and my camera probably like color corrected it but in real life it looks super awesome all right guys so that concludes another vlog thank you so much mabuhay squad for watching and joining us on this adventure here at the mabuhay squad farmhouse uh really means a lot to us and if you enjoyed this vlog be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot guys it lets youtube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences thank you if you have hit the like up button and if you haven't yet do hit that subscribe button come join our mabuhay squad because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online love you guys all right i'll see you in the next vlog thanks for watching mm.